Good evening. Today is Tuesday, January 28th, and this is going to be a slightly different vlog. I have uh, come up with an idea of something I'm going to do over the next several weeks. Now, for those that may not know, I, I have several friends that watch this, but most, hopefully, that are finding this channel uh, do not know that I, a couple of years ago, went through a pretty massive weight loss. Uh, as a matter of fact, second time in my adult life that I lost a massive amount of weight. Uh, the first time I did it with the traditional idea of calories in, calories out, basically starve yourself and you'll lose all kinds of weight. Successful in the short term, however, uh, you generally end up gaining a lot of that weight back on. So a few years ago, or a couple of years ago, I guess you could say at this point, uh, my friend Scott, Scott the truck driver on YouTube, who I've referenced before, he convinced me to finally go full, full bore into keto. And it was uh, successful for a while. I actually was moderately successful. I lost steady amounts of weight. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, timing right in line with the beginning of my divorce a couple of years ago, uh, I lost significant amount of weight. Now, come to find out that most likely a large portion of that weight loss was attributable uh, to the fact that I was also diagnosed with Lyme disease. Uh, Lyme disease is a condition that comes with a number of different um, issues, uh, symptoms, if you, if you want to, I, although I, I, I hesitate to say that because it's, it, they're, they're, these are more conditions that occur. So for example, I had a heightened heart rate, I mean, severely heightened heart rate and for an extended period of time. And I believe that, uh, between that and my body, uh, fighting off the disease that it was burning unbelievable amounts of calories and that attributed to my weight loss. Coincidentally, once I came off of, or once I was on dicyclane and attacked the Lyme and uh, for all intents and purposes beat the Lyme, my weight started to st steadily come back up again. So it's my belief that that is um, part of what has attributed to me gaining weight back. So the reality is, and I'm going to pull my phone out here because I am, at the end of the day, I am ultimately a um, numbers guy. So I keep regular look at that light i keep regular checks of my weight now the last time i weighed myself uh which was on sunday earlier this week i was 210 pounds on friday i was 211 so 210 208 211 like that's my fluctuating range now according to the national standards for bmi that actually makes me obese now i'm not a big fan of the bmi standards simply because i actually even though i do carry a lot of fat on my body right now i also have a a good undercoating of lean muscle mass. Uh, I'm a pretty strong guy, former U.S. Marine. Uh, I do uh, eight hours of massage a day, so my upper body is very strong. I run marathons. I'm a cyclist, so my lower body is really strong. So the BMI standards don't exactly work for me. And as a matter of fact, I have a scale that gives me body fat percentage. My body fat percentage is not horribly, horribly bad. But since I am a marathon runner, I'm carrying more weight than I want to be. Uh, since I am a cyclist, I'm carrying more weight than I want to be. And ultimately, what matters to me is that when I see myself naked, I'm not happy with what I see. And that's really one of the drivers for, I think, a lot of us. So what am I rambling on about? Well, the bottom line is that um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to go strictly keto. Um, I, am, I actually have been keto today. So I, I, today my diet consisted of coffee. I had a ribeye, I had Brussels sprouts, a small salad with just lettuce, spinach, uh, cheddar cheese, bacon bits, but not the processed kind, um, and a little bit of carrot strips. Now, carrot strips are, are deadly, one, or not deadly, but they're dangerous with keto, but I mean, literally, matchstick carrots and maybe two tablespoons of matchstick carrots. And then I used uh, Ken's blue cheese dressing. Uh, for it as well. So uh, should be perfectly keto friendly. I have not plugged it into my phone yet. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, starting tomorrow is I'm going to uh, film this video in the morning and I'm going to do an accounting of what I ate the day before. So I'll be repeating what I ate tomorrow with the numbers based on how many calories I burned for the day and what I took in. You're going to get my measurements. So it's going to be uh, neck, chest, uh, belly, waist, and thigh and bicep. And then you're going to get um, my weight. You're going to get body or body fat percentage. Um, you're going to get, that might actually be it. 
Uh, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do uh, as far as other stuff. So I'm going to do this for at least the next eight weeks. And I'm going to try to stay strictly keto. And this will also be a journal for me to not only show you numbers, but also tell you how I'm feeling, how it's affecting me, uh, how my energy levels are. Um, I'm going to be able to journal any kind of challenges that I have. So, for example, I'm going to a friend's house uh, for a party for Super Bowl Sunday this coming Sunday. Uh, that's going to be a challenge. There's going to be food galore everywhere. Uh, all high carbohydrate stuff. Uh, alcohol everywhere. Um, the other thing I'm going to do along with this, I'm going to really try to minim minimize my alcohol intake. I tend to drink uh, socially quite a bit. Uh, I want to try to limit that, at least for the time being, and give this a real test uh, to see how my body responds. I'd like my goal weight. My goal weight is 180. Uh, a couple, a year, a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago, I had gotten down to 177. Now that was a little bit too low, but I think 180, 185 is a uh, is a good number for me. That's where I feel lean uh, and successful. So that's my goal. That's what's going to happen. So if you are interested in watching this or learning from this, I'm going to pass along anything I'm doing that's successful. I'm going to talk about any failures that I have. So if you're interested in how this is going to be and how this will look. Um, Tune in starting tomorrow. We're going to call this day zero, uh, but tomorrow will be officially day one of my 2020 uh, keto test, and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, uh, like the video if you're interested in seeing it. Comment below if you've got any ideas or if you if you think keto is a bad idea, if you think keto is a great idea, if you've had success in the past, failure in the past, uh, put it down in the comments. Also, feel free to share this if you if you you know want to follow along, get your friends to follow along as well. Be a great way to do it. Subscribe to the channel and. I will see you tomorrow when we start this challenge and this test for real.